Now, 13 News. We've all heard the phrase breaking the glass ceiling, but what about breaking the brass ceiling? 13 News reporter Shannon Litton has one remarkable woman's story of going through the ranks in tonight's Good News with 13 report. You could say it was a long time coming. After all, 31 years is a long time to do anything. No, first ever in our family. 27 of which were here in Portsmouth. Who is Debbie Brewer? Just small town girl. When I was in high school, never dreamed I'd be doing this. Not only did she not dream it, she was told it would probably never happen. It's something she heard before she became a Portsmouth police officer. He said, I can never pay you what they can pay you. And he said, I'm not comfortable with putting a female on the road. And it's something she still hears today. You're a female, you can't do this. I guess I just have to show them that I can. She smiles graciously, knowing a new chapter begins as she's sworn in as the city's first female police chief. Congratulations, Chief. Chief Brewer now joins an exclusive club of women in power in the tri-state, including Huntington Fire Chief Jane Rader and Ironton Police Chief Pam Wagner. In the 1940s or 50s, I wouldn't even be considered for this job. Ironton Police Chief Pam Wagner was sworn in three years ago. She says being a police officer is a challenge. Being a woman police officer, a different challenge. It's not a challenge that uh, Chief Brewer cannot meet. I know Debbie to be nothing uh, short of having the utmost integrity. Challenges Debbie Brewer knows a thing or two about. Brewer is the second female officer hired in Portsmouth. Right now, she's one of only five women on the force. Brewer understands the importance of the moment as she enjoys the company of colleagues and family. She knows little girls will look up to her. She needs them to know it's possible. You can do anything you set your mind to. You just have to keep striving towards that. Don't ever stop. So back to the initial question. Who is Debbie Brewer? She says she's just another Scioto County resident. And that's me. I'm just like everybody else. I don't put my pants on any different than anybody else. A resident making history in our tri-state, shattering the brass ceiling, and living proof that dreams do come true. In Portsmouth, I'm Shannon Litton, 13 News, working for you. A big congratulations to Chief Brewer, too, and I love that, reminding little girls you can grow up and be anything. During the ceremony, by the way, Chief Brewer received a special congressional recognition from Congressman Brad Winstrup. And Brewer was one of four officers promoted today. The city also hired a new patrol officer. And if you have positive story ideas during these challenging times, we would love to hear from you. You can share them with us by sending an email to news at wowktv.com.